I'm doing my best to play and speak at the same time it's, here. Yeah. Um, Much yeah, easier for me right now since I don't have the controller. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, Justin here. I'm joined by Michael Haveri from Housemark. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And we're going to talk about Next Machina. Yes, that's our latest and greatest uh, Housemark uh, arcade titles. So, yep. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to just dive right in here, if that's okay. Um, while we're getting this all started up, can you give me a quick overview of what Next Machina is? Next Machina is a very classic top-down arcade shooter. You have twin sticks, so L and R sticks are in use, and also two other buttons, which are the L and R1 buttons. Okay. And that's pretty much your, your button kind of set up there. I got a no death clear. There you go. It's for the first room, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but it follows um, a lot of these classic arcade shooters. Um, we draw inspiration from something called Robotron, which is a oh, early, yeah. early 80s game. And then uh, another game made by the same guys uh, called the Smash TV, where we get this oh, sort of yeah, room yeah, structure yeah. from. Uh, and we're actually creating this game with the guy who made these games, uh, Eugene Jarvis. Yeah. So that's a, he's a huge inspiration for us, and now we get to work with this uh, legend, so it's, it's been a wonderful time. And yeah, you guys, uh, I know that uh, Rezogun took inspiration from Defender. Right, um, you made guys, by Eugene also, yeah. Yeah, you guys are, are uh, kind of the, the front runners in terms of taking these classic formulas and putting your own spin on them. Yeah, and we're, we're I'm geeks. a huge fan. We're of, geeks who love these games, yeah. and then uh, uh, we like to kind of put our twist on them. And uh, we get to do that for a living, so what's better than that? So, yeah. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of Resogun here with the, the dash through and all that right. stuff. A lot of those things um, are, so there's familiar things from Resogun if you played that. Uh, saving the humans, for example, here, that's another layer of complexity and, and the score. Uh, but uh, basically, there's the dash and then there's different weapons. But other than that, uh, a lot of the things are very different. Mm. The engine, though, it is the same engine, uh, or it was supposed to be the same engine. Then the guys got into it and they started doing a lot of fixes. So everything you see on screen now, except the character model and any models, are actually voxels. Oh, okay. So everything there is, is just small little cubes. And the new addition from Resogun is that we can actually transform those. So kind of, if you can see on the bottom there, you can see these uh, strict cubes turning into these kind of uh, clay-looking cubes. Mm, yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's sort of our new visual gimmick uh, that we added into the engine. Oh, okay. Now, on the mechanical side, oh, I didn't get the humans there. It's all good. So I should probably, you, you should focus Watch on other. saving humans right, um, so before you take out all the enemies, if you're going for that, that perfect Right, there's run. a little bit of a leeway in terms of uh, getting the last humans before you transfer to the other room. Yeah. So even if you have one or two humans, you can still maybe catch them. This is, by the way, one of the worst parts, and uh, so you got to focus on this part. Uh, we've been watching a lot of players, and this is where everybody dies at least once or twice. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm doing my best to play and speak at the same time it's, here. Yeah. Um, Much yeah, easier for me right now, since I don't have a controller. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's... Oh, it's, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> it's, it's one of these things that the, when you have simple controls, when you have a fairly simple premise, a lot of the complexity uh, becomes more apparent. Yeah. So your strategy within the levels, uh, understanding enemy movement patterns and bullet patterns, that is something that then you can kind of put your touch on. Uh, you want to go towards the bullets. Do you want to oh, go yeah. away from the bullets? All these things are very apparent where you only have two sticks and two buttons. So that's really, we want to make a very pure experience. Um, and we, this is a game actually we'd love to establish something similar as we thought uh, maybe Resogun established, so yeah, that's kind of our mission. So you talked about uh, you guys have been fans of Eugene Jarvis, yeah. and now you you actually get to work with him, you're collaborating with him on this game. What's what's that like? Well, you know, there's a lot of fanboy moments in, in the industry. <laughs> uh, you know, when you see somebody whose your work you admire, uh, you, you get that feeling in your guts, but... Uh, <laughs> I've but got now, that feeling right now. Right, but it's also, honestly, with Eugene, um, the first couple of days I was in shell shock, I didn't realize it. And then we started filming a movie, you know, there's a documentary crew around us. Oh, really? Right, so we're doing that too. And um, so all this kind of comes together and I just wake up in the early mornings sometimes and I realize what's happening. <laughs> but when you're in the moment, you don't really, you can't take it in all, the, all that well. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been amazing, really. Yeah, that's amazing. That's, that's gotta be so cool to just be able to work with one of your heroes like that and make something something cool. It's, it's it, quite surreal. I imagine it's gotta be really cool for him to kind of get back in there and uh, start making something new too. Right. 
So Eugene's making games. Uh, he's making arcade cabinet games oh, since really? the '80s, and and he's done some of this uh, very cool lately. Uh, like uh, he did a new Cruise in the USA game and some big buck hunter games. Right. So he's still making those physical cabinets in Chicago. Uh, so maybe he'll do one for this game. Who knows? But that would be awesome. <laughs> exactly. But it's it's just cool to see him do something really more reminiscent of the '80s titles, where it's really hardcore, rather than something that's catered to maybe a bit more, you know, kind of the kids, uh, a bit of an easier um, kind of a cycle. So definitely the most hardcore game that he and his team have been involved for a while. So, <laughs> so uh, looks like I'm at a I'm at a boss here. I kind of have gone through and I've been uh, playing pretty safe, trying to right. uh, use my you know right stick to uh, to fire at things. Are exactly. there any any high scoring like advanced techniques that uh, so, once I get more familiar with the game, I should start trying to do? We do a lot of like let's say there's a lot of extra things you can destroy. So even the environment, if you destroy that, that adds up to your your tally. Oh okay. Um, with with bosses like this, it's actually fairly straightforward, and this is a fairly resogunish boss uh, will have a much, much more complex uh, with multiple patterns and phases uh, down the line. But uh, Look yeah, all those voxels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just, I remember uh, Shuhei was playing it in PSX and he was like, need more voxels. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we might add some more voxels there, so. I'm putting my name on here. Right, People are going right. to remember me forever. Yeah. Okay, and, you want to you want to try yeah, one? Well, you know, I want to see a pro play. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be speaking the whole time and I'll take, actually there's, Secret Brutes, so I'll probably oh, try to okay. do something like that. Please. Uh, so we can show off a little bit. I imagine but, you've probably gotten pretty good at uh, uh, navigating through this while still you, telling people You'd think people about so, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the whole, because you got to be in the zone, right? you got to be focused on the game. Of course, Similar yeah. with Resogun, you uh -huh. kind of, you know, just blank out and you play that game. I remember when uh, Resogun, when PS4 first came out, I was playing Resogun and I would stream it on Twitch. Right. Uh, and I would perform far worse while I was streaming because I was trying to like pay attention to comments and talk to people and all that. Exactly, um, exactly. So I always feel kind of like a goof when I would start streaming a game and I don't play as well as I know I can play. We feel like we've tapped into something in the human brain by making these sorts of games. <laughs> it's like the, the nirvana everybody's searching for. Well, we got a little piece of that at least with the uh, with, uh, fully focused uh, arcade gaming. Nice. So oh, you, did you get that human? I don't think I did. Oh, it would have given me a plus there. Uh, but I got a special weapon. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, now I lost oh, it. No. Now I started talking about it. But yeah, there's <laughs> there's weapons you can pick up, and if you pick up an extra weapon um, and die, you lose it. And if you pick up a new one, then you lose it also. So it kind of replaces it. Uh, but that's uh, with the R1 button here. Yeah, and then you got a uh, dash on your L1. You can dash through yeah. enemies. And here, a dash explosion means that there's a little area effect oh, afterwards. Oh, cool, cool. So there's pickups to your main weapon, to your dash, and your special weapon. Oh, awesome. I love that this is this whole uh, level seems to be set on kind of a, an ever-rotating cube. You keep right. on going to a different face of this cube as so you So in this demo, levels. we show very, this is the only one that's kind of on a different uh, axis here. You can see the voxels dropping down towards oh, the... Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Right, so there's a little bit of that physics thing going on. But we do a lot of that uh, very cubic. Now I miss these humans again. But right, so we try to play around with the perspective a little bit there. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe some some special enemies even that take advantage of a perspective, or, or possibly even bosses that are only on a certain plane. Oh, cool. So is this? Um, are you looking at the same kind of structure as? Uh, is this more of like a resogun or more like an alienation in terms of like the progression and everything? Is it more arcadey where you just very, start fresh? Very resogunny. It's a, sort of a let's say more focused core gameplay thing, and then um, just replaying that, and uh, we'll be adding a lot of challenges. Basically, everything that we did with resogun, uh, we'll try to do similar things, and then you know add more according to, let's say, player yeah. base feedback. Yeah, Resogun ended up a very different game by the end. It of, did, it I'm, did. I mean, I don't know if I want to say the end of its life cycle, people still play it, but uh, And we just did an update for it, it too, with, yeah. the, with the 4K HDR. Oh, yeah. Oh, is HDR enabled on that, too? HDR oh, that's also. Look amazing. It, it's, it's pretty good. I just got a, a 4K HDR TV, and there you go. oh my goodness, I can't believe what a difference well, it Resogun, makes. Well, Resogun, that's uh, something you need to check out then. Well, sure. yeah, I guess it's time to boot that bad boy back up. And these are the same things that we're looking for next Machina, but uh, currently we haven't announced anything for, for PS4 Pro, but it will be on PS4 Pro. Okay, for great. Sure. Yeah. We, we just need to fine tune it in the shop a couple more times. Yeah, of course, know. of course. So is this one of the, this is one of the secret so routes? So right now we're in a secret route, and that, this is actually, again, on a different perspective. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I keep dying, so maybe I should uh, try to focus. <laughs> please, the, please. Usually these are a bit harder, so even though currently we are in the first level, um, this route will be a lot harder and I, <laughs> I will die. Uh, <laughs> but again, this is where you want to be in terms of score hunting. Um, there's also secret stuff like in the rooms that are not secret rooms, so we put a lot of these alternative pathways. Um, to kind of um, how extensive do these alternate pathways get? Does it is it to the point where like you might face different bosses or something, or are they just little bonus like detours? In let's the middle just of say levels? very likely the the first option you just mentioned. Oh, okay. <laughs> can't, can't promise anything, but we would love to do um, many bosses that are only available through secret browse. Oh, and, cool. And that's kind of our way to add replayability in there. Uh, so you you come back and you see now I lost all my lives here, but <laughs> well, I actually get to start here. I won't so. hold it against you. Exactly. But yeah, so that's something we're looking at. Um, hopefully we'll get that in the final game. And also, it's something that we want to have a long life with, so we might even add a variation of a campaign or, oh, cool. you know, a lot of challenges and, and different mix, mixing up of the, the usual. Because um, yeah. it's, it's a different structure than Resogun. It's not just a certain amount of levels. Right. Here we have a lot more flexibility and uh, roots and so on. You're making expert use of this dash maneuver. Well, here, uh, see, here you have to again. Yeah. Something that we don't really teach you in the first level um, that well. But then, if you want to go forward, you need to be able to dash through. Dash the... and then also kill the guys on the side. So it looks like that dash can be used defensively and offensively. You can dash exactly. through enemies and stuff. And that's like with a lot of our games, uh, people start doing. Well, you know, twin sticks in general. There's a thing called moonwalking. And when you're just running away from the enemies backwards and shooting oh, at them. Oh, yeah, yeah. So here we want to add things that actually make you do more offensive things. So you okay. run towards the enemies, but that's the kind of trade-off that you might actually hit them. And Is there a, a cooldown on the dash? I think I hear a, a, there's a little sound bit, effect yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. So right now it's a sound effect. I think there's a visual also, but currently you can only see the hitbox on top of the character. Oh, yeah. But again, this is a fairly early demo. This is the one we announced and launched at PSX. Mm, okay. This is actually available in all the PlayStation 4 demo kiosks around the world. Oh, awesome. Uh, Europe and North America. So. so you're talking about when you like go to a retail store. Right, and you then the you PS4 get to play this. Oh, and it's, cool. it's set up in a way like you can leave your your um, score, uh, your name tag there. So oh, you nice. can actually play like arcade games. So. It's the new, the new arcade. Exactly. Well, I mean, that's kind of all we do is we want to really try to recreate the arcades in a way. So that's kind of our mission plan. Uh, as developers too. Nice. So, uh, yeah, this this um, this game looks incredible. Um, I noticed that while you were, or at least while I was playing earlier, I noticed my weapon getting stronger after a little right. while. Is that uh, tied to a multiplier, or so is it just the longer there's a there's a pickup. Alive? There's a pickup um, for the main weapon, um, and there's a so dash main weapon and special weapon have those pickups you see in the world. I haven't seen one of the ones you picked up. And of course, if you also die, you lose it. So. Okay, here's the spot that I got hung up on earlier. So there's Let's weapon see up, you can... can see up there. If, uh, I, if I get that, then uh, I get the triple yep. burst. Nice, nice. But again, these are things that might change. Uh, and also we want to do variations of the campaign. So, you know, if we make a very different main weapon, for example, uh, we can just kind of uh, do a modifier for a week for that. So. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get to the final boss here. <laughs> I think you got my, my score beat, because every time you lose those five lives, then you restart from the beginning. Oh, no. So I don't know well, if I think, I'll be able I think to... I think I had to continue here, too, so... Okay, so um, there's a chance you might have saying. a shot. All right. They, I don't know if they let me back into Finland if, uh, <laughs> if I... I think it's likely that you beat my score. Let's see, let's see. I'll try to get these guys. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a very simplistic arcade. It's, I think a lot of people expect this from Housemark, and uh, we're very happy to deliver. So, yeah, you guys have really kind of mastered. This. We were talking about it earlier about how you kind of take these classic formulas and I wouldn't say turn them on their head, but kind of put your own spin on them and bring them into the modern age. Like, right. I probably right. wouldn't go back and play a ton of Robotron these days. I still love it, but yeah, it's it's fun for very small bursts, and now we're just trying to bring it to the modern era where you can actually play it for a longer time and yeah. Still get that very familiar feeling. Get that um, adrenaline. Right, exactly. So. You got your your games are very good at uh, getting that adrenaline pumping. That hectic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something. You, well, some people can actually do it for a long time. Personally, for me, half an hour might be enough of our games, at a at a time. 
I remember getting real sweaty palms playing Resogun trying to get uh, high score runs going. I gotta give you a shout out over to Britty and uh, I think he lives in Las Vegas. He actually beat uh, Superstar's HD score that's been on the top list for six years. Really? So there's still guys who actually play it. He played it for six hours and 15 minutes. Oh my straight. goodness. What? And that, and that was, uh, well, then he got the new high score. So huh. uh, there's still guys like out, that out there. Um, you know, those same people were probably playing uh, uh, Defender and You 80s. guys should just build a kill screen into your game once you reach a certain point. <laughs> I know. Oh, we've I got know. a kill screen coming up exactly. if anyone's interested. But definitely, it's it's a very hectic thing. Um, we don't have that, uh, if you have a pacemaker warning in the beginning of our games <laughs> yet, but uh, epilepsy warning definitely there for a reason. Yeah, yeah, this looks incredible. I can only imagine how cool all of these particles and the, the laser beams and everything will look and, with and HDR too. And we want to do too. more. We've been teasing a bit of the, because currently we have a very early implementation of our new voxel tech here. Um, on our Twitter, we actually showed off some GIFs of uh, very experimental things where everything turns into voxels and just... <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of stuff we can do, and hopefully before we launch we can show a bit more of that, so... Oh. And is that is that just uh, at Housemark for your Twitter? Yeah, at Housemark is our Twitter. Uh, we are in Europe, so our, our tweets usually uh, correspond to those time zones. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, but definitely uh, we'll be showing a lot more of the game uh, before we launch. Awesome. Um, which is probably going to be around this summer. Oh, cool. So no definite dates yet, but... Sure, sure. Uh, I won't hold you to it. Yeah, I mean, when the game's done, we'll put it out there, and uh, it's it's better than uh, doing something too early. Yeah, cool. You got I did, I did barely... You, uh, you I, I put me. some more effort in towards the end there, so yeah. <laughs> and then, so if you move around here, I think it was like moving all those voxels. Yeah, and there's, oh, there's, oh, all, oh my goodness, yeah, you physically. destroyed me. Come well, no, on, man. I mean, yeah. Making me look bad over here. I get here. to go back home, so it's. I gotta uh, question my own game. It's, it's cred a win-win situation. But when the game comes out, you 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 know play for a I'll, while. I'll take you on. Yeah, me. We'll exactly. Do a head to head then. Awesome. Well, uh, this has been Next Machina, uh, Michael. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, this will be out sometime, sometime aiming for summer. Yeah, no, no definite Summer date yet. 2017. Uh, hopefully early summer, and if not, then later summer. So okay, well, one of the other. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks again. Uh, we'll have more on Next Machina on PlayStation Blog leading up to release, so please stay tuned. PlayStation.